Conservatives are in federal court once again for breaking electoral laws. They refuse to explain why their lawyer stonewalled Elections Canada for 90 days, refuse to admit that the investigation now includes over 56 writings, and refuses to say what happened to the RMG evidence. You see, the Conservative Sims database contains every voter contact, fundraising, serving, surveys, even mail-outs from the Hill, and yes, sending people to the wrong polling locations. Are we really to believe that this uh, gold mine of information just vamoosed, disappeared? <coughs> Why the cover-up? I, did, I didn't hear anything in that question that touched on the uh, administrative responsibility of government. I see Honourable Prime Minister Secretary rising, but I do urge members to, if they do have something in the preamble, they do have to tie it back into where the government has responsibility. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, the question was out of order, but in the spirit of Christmas time, I would be generous enough to answer it. The Honourable Member makes reference to uh, the NDP front group which is bringing this case. Of course, two of the leading financiers of the whole operation are one Cup W, which donates to the NDP front group. It also sent six delegates down to an anti-Semitic conference in Brazil just a few weeks ago. We're, uh, we're in that conference called for the liberation of a convicted murderer and terrorist. Another one is QP, which gave $50,000 in illegal union money to the NDP. That's the kind of company they keep Very over there.